January 3rd, 2022. 20, 20, Day 26. I'm going to round it up here. I'm probably going to end this folder. I don't know, you can only say so much. So anyway, this all started out 26 days ago when I unhung my C1. Here we are day 26. I'm going to talk mainly today about head shaking. That's normal. Normal. That's the body. I've had this head, head shaking thing going on for a long time, so it's definitely another sign that you, you have some issues in your neck if you got that little nasty head hitch, that bullwhip action. That's your body trying to put your neck back in. So here's where I'm at. Yesterday afternoon, I don't guess about one or two. And I have no control over the head shakes. The head shakes, are, they're like a yawn, they're like a sneeze. And they just, boom, you're going to get one or two. And they just, you just keep doing it. Your body's trying to get it back in, and it's going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, until it gets back in. So if you're out, you can expect to have, have issues shaking your head. So if you see your beef out there shaking its head all the time, well, your beef, beef's got a dislocated neck. You see your dog shaking the head all the time. Well, obviously your dog's got issues in the neck. Very good uh, indicator that you might be looking at a seizure there. You know, you got to put the neck back in, put the neck back in. You have to deal with the seizures because the seizure's dormant. Relocation unleashes the seizures a lot of times. That, that is not a rule because I have relocated several, several of my vertebrae and not had any seizures associated to it other than the fact that my body's trying to heal up which is actually, in my opinion, part of seizures. So you really, everybody has the seizures. It's just a, it, it, it's the reality of the seizure at whatever portion of the seizure you're in. I mean, if you're in the grand mal portion, stuff like that, you gotta seize out of that, get it stopped. Or if you're just having jerks and twitches and, and seizures like that, I call them pre-seizure, seizure indicators, but Everybody has seizures. You know, hopefully we can get that established by this video. If you've watched any of the other videos or anything going along with this, well, you should have a little foundation. So anyway, my little head jerking stuff, shaking, and that's that bullwhip snapping shit. Well, it just happened to run my C2 back up into, I think, exactly where it belongs, and my C3, and my C4, all the way up to C5, and he's like, Snapped it and it went. Didn't really hurt, but I'm feeling the feeling the aftermath today. I woke up about three o'clock this morning. My wife was up. It, it, we got about three or four inches of snow. It's it's a whopping 14 degrees outside. It's going to be 14 degrees all day long. Right, we're going to get to whopping 17. And it's about three or four inches of snow out there. So it, I got up. And, Helped her with the truck, get me out of here. Got one car stuck out there already since she drove the Blazer. You know, okay, I've had a lot of uh, vertebrae shift down through my body already. This C1 shift, whenever I got this thing unhooked, I've had several vertebrae and they're just all lining back up. And that's what happened yesterday afternoon. It attacked, I got my C1 back up pretty close to where it's supposed to be. c 2 you know, latched to C1, and maybe C2 was hung up on C3. So, you know, it unhooked whatever there. And then, you know, about five, ten minutes later, it just had to go some more. So I felt it hit the other one, and it moved a little bit. The time it got down to C5, that, that one there just barely, just, I mean, I felt it kind of move. But it, and everything's starting to tighten back up. I got a little swelling from it. And I got a frog right in here behind my jawbone. It's right here. You like touch it. It's real sore. It's like somebody gave me a penicillin shot right there. Somebody frogged it. You know, a little knuckle there. Boom on your arm. Get you one of them little frogs to jump up. Kind of feel like that. So I'm only expecting 
better things. I mean, since everything went down and lined up all the way down to C5, I, I don't think I got much left. I mean, I'm, I've, I've gone all the way up through the lower back to the middle of my shoulders, so that only leaves about three, three or four vertebrae that are left. I don't know, C6, C7, C8. I don't know if there's a C8. I don't think there is. I think they do. So I'm out of vertebrae. That's good news as far as I can tell. All I gotta do is get this to heal up from this shift. I mean every time it shifts it's like you re-sprain it or whatever and it's it, it heals up and it burns and the complications of where it lands and the pain that it is you know that you get because of it landing where it's back where it's supposed to be because it's been out for been twisted out for maybe all your life. I mean since they don't even they ignore it and everything. There's a lot of people that are out there dislocated walking around all right now. They're just walking around dislocated and half their brain's working, the other half starving for blood. It's a nightmare. It's a real nightmare. And it's ugly to see it. When you actually see what's really happening, it makes you just want to throw up. These guys get paid all the big bucks. And you get to suffer for their ignorance, just like I did. Well, hopefully I'm not suffering anymore much longer. Hopefully this is going to be about the last week or two of any suffering associated with my neck being out of place. And I have weapons. Weapons that nobody else has got, really, because they ain't out there. My weapons are this. One, I know how to, I know how to get out of seizures. Two. I managed to get my neck relocated. And I, I got a real good idea that if it gets dislocated again, I've got the knowledge and the wisdom and the tools to get it back in right away and not live dislocated. That's an interesting thought. If I get unhooked this time, smack me again. I, I may not wait very long before I get it back out next time. Should have put it back in 28 and a half years ago. That's what I paid them for. I paid several doctors, begged them, help me. I'm wrong. Well, that's where you're at, people. I, I mean, life's a jungle. That's a fact. So, anyway, God bless from Blanchard, Oklahoma. Hope y'all get your heads back on, because you're going to die from it. Slow, strung out, with some labeled condition. I mean, that all it is is your neck's dislocated. And they don't care. So yeah, God bless. Hope, you, hope the news is truthful to your ears and you understand the real truth. Because you go ahead and keep living your lie. That's what you get. You get the lie. I'm in the truth. And hopefully this is going to make a big difference in my life. God bless.